Also, a quick note to always use your reusable bags. doing a grocery haul. Today the damage that has been done at the grocery store totaled $61.64. $5 of that was a store coupon. Um, that was just like $5 off your order. And then $15 of this, or I guess you could say like 10, was my dog's dog food. I got her this blue buffalo whatever I don't know what it is my dog is not vegan I don't have anything against feeding my dog vegan I just haven't don't haven't really looked into it shoot me um but I like switching her dog food every like three months or so so like basically I'll buy her a bag I like buying her the bigger ones usually but I don't know I didn't really want to buy her a big bag of blue buffalo um so I'll buy her a big bag usually that'll last her about three months and then after that's gone I'll switch her to another one just because in my opinion I feel like you know humans shouldn't be eating the same things every day so why should dogs like obviously we all have set things that we like eating and, you know stuff like that but if you eat the same thing every day for your whole life I think you're going to be missing out on something so I like switching her food um, pretty often so once you consider the dog food and the $5 off coupon, um, the total for my and my husband's food for the week came to about $50. Another thing to note for this grocery haul before I get started is that my husband generally likes a lot of uh, fake meats and box stuff and that kind of vegan stuff. But I really want us to go more whole foods based well, the past three times now, he did not go with me to the grocery store, so I decided I want to take it upon myself to just get what I want. And so I didn't get him any fake meats, and that's probably another reason that the bill was so low, because like I said in my last grocery haul, vegetables are just so much cheaper than like fake chicken and stuff like that. Um, I will be trying to make a fake tofu kilos. I've done it before, and um, it came out pretty good so I'm going to be trying to do that today because it is a lot cheaper to do it that way um, and hopefully he'll like that and it'll be sufficed. Also a quick note to always use your reusable bags. The first thing I got was some carrots. Um, I don't like how these come in a plastic baggie but these, these plastic baggies can be recycled in the little plastic baggy recycle box at your grocery store. <laughs> Two things of celery. Oh my god, I love the smell of celery. Maybe I should have got three things of celery because I'm thinking I want to eat a whole one of these today. Yum. I got two ears of corn. It's definitely not corn season, so these were like double the price they are in the summer. Um, but my husband was wanting corn, and I say, sure. That's healthy. We'll get corn. Two things of green onion. We eat the hell out of green onions, so yeah. And a thing of ginger. I also love the smell of ginger. Oh my god, yes, that's good. Okay. <laughs> but I typically, this isn't something I normally buy. Um, I make my own kimchi and I'm starting to run low on my kimchi supply, so I got this to make another batch. Same thing with the plastic on these. I don't like that they're in plastic, but this can be recycled with the other plastic baggies. So, um, two things of the Kroger flour tortillas um, or burritos, enchiladas, all that good stuff. Um, a can of hummus. So, I got this for my snack at work. I'll find often when I'm at work after lunch. I'm not still hungry, but I still want to eat um, at my desk. And a lot of the times I'll find myself going to like nearest drugstore and getting a bag of chocolate and you know a giant sweet tea and that's just I need to stop got a can of pasta sauce for my husband's lunches he eats pasta so yeah you might recognize these from my last grocery haul um, these are the diced tomatoes with green chilies and 
they're two for a dollar. I think they're like always two for a dollar. <laughs> so I got four of them. Next thing I got was some potatoes. These bags can also be recycled with the plastic baggies at the plastic baggie place. And I got some gold potatoes and some regular potatoes. I got the gold potatoes because my husband likes them better. But I also got the regular potatoes because they're cheaper. So lots of times I'll just mix them together. Like if I'm making mashed potatoes, I'll just combine them. So they have like the flavor of this, but then you get a little more starchiness and takes you a little further with this. Green pepper. Um, for my breakfast at work this week, I want to try to get in the habit of meal prepping my breakfast as well. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a tofu scramble um, for my daily breakfast. So this will be good for that. Got some onions. And then in this lovely Crown Royal uh, bag, <laughs> I got mushrooms. <laughs> it's full of mushrooms. But this is another good tip if you're trying to like transition to a more zero waste lifestyle. Um, just like try to reuse things you already have. Like I bought these um, just because they were bigger, these little mesh bags. Um, but I did already have some things like this lying around that I still use now. Um, so you know, if you just have little baggies that are semi lightweight, like this ain't gonna, this bag ain't gonna add a whole lot to your price, if anything. So yeah. And then I got some bamboo shoots. I don't think I've ever had these before. I mean, maybe I have, but I don't recall having them. Um, for my lunch this week, I'm hoping to make like a ramen. And I know a lot of people put bamboo shoots in their ramen. Typically like a fresher bamboo shoot, not the can, but I figure I'd try it. It was like $1.30, so. Got two things of extra firm tofu. Got some rotini pasta for, like I said, my husband's lunches, he eats pasta. Um, then I got this vermicelli noodle for my lunches. Like I said, I want to have a ramen, but I didn't want to pay the, ridis the ridiculous price for the like actual ramen, plain ramen noodles, and they were all wrapped in like plastic, and I didn't want to deal with that. So. I got the vermicelli and I'm gonna try it instead of like a ramen noodle. Got some bananas for my husband. He eats bananas. I also like bananas in smoothies, but I haven't made a smoothie in so long. It's so sad. Napa cabbage to make my kimchi. Finally, some bok choy for my ramen for lunch this week. So that was my entire grocery haul for this week. I think it's pretty good for $50. Um, got a lot of vegetables and I'm super excited about that because I love vegetables. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you got some inspiration for your next grocery trip. And be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.